Hi, welcome. <clears throat> it's the 1st April of 2018 and we have Arco Linux 6.6.1 released. So what do you do if you have installed Arco Linux? Well, first of all, you have to update. You see down here a red icon, which is PAMAC. And PAMAC is going to tell, hey, since the creation of the ISO, we have lots of updates to do. So there we have also our own personal configuration GitHubs that we've done as well. So, all right, um, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, apply. That's simple. Update everything and commit it. And that's that. So it's going to um, install and download all the elements and you have to, well, start to learn somewhat the names of all these packages if you want to go to phase four and five and so on. So, <clears throat> some information already. Arco Linux config git. So it's going to be installed. Some of the elements in here of Arco Linux are going to be in your etc scale. That's a quite specific thing in Arco Linux. We want to have a themed system, which is a beautiful system, all tweaked and themed. But there is a but in this matter that the elements of tweaking are always going to be in Ctrl H in this file or a folder better and this folder so these elements are your personal folders so we'll never write in your personal folders once you have installed everything so now with the clean install all our configuration is in here so we have decided uh, Compton, how, how Compton will look, we have decided how XFCE will look, and so on and so on and so on. So that's what makes Arco Linux so special. Now, after a clean installation, we will not write in your personal folders, but we'll write to etc scale. So, scale, 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 here is. So you take this one and you put it in here. So this is actually a copy of what you have in your home folder after a clean installation. But after this one, after this run, then you see that we'll have here Arco Linux config git. So the configuration files, and we can always take a look what's in here. Oh yeah, look, so it's going to change Calamaris desktop elements like this, you see? Elements that we've changed in the meantime, I believe we've changed this one um, for better appearance in some of the applications to have not all sons. So it, there are minor elements that we change and tweak. Then we say, oh, we could improve this or that. And that's going to be in here. So the Arco Linux Conkey collection, all the Conkeys have been uh, changed and upgraded. And we have here the Conkeys. So everything that is in here is going to be in etc scale. But if it's in etc scale, there is no use for it. I mean, it will be not used at all. So it's up to you to decide if you want to have these elements into your own home folder. So that's what we'll do later on. Uh, let's see first, okay, your system is up to date. So now we can do this action. And what is the action? Since this is a clean install, you have not changed anything. The easiest way to do is just select everything here. Say copy. Go to your home folder and say paste. And that's it. So everything will be overwritten. Most of the things will be just exactly the same. All right. But there were two, three packages there that we changed minor details. And if we say replace all, we have the very, very latest um, setup and configuration of Arco Linux. Now, Plank is one guy who, he, who hates uh, that you do that to him. So we'll have to restart Plank and then that's fine. So let's tell him to kill all Plank and then just type in Plank again. He really hates when you do that. But that's it. Now we have, we have Paris, apparently. So that's the first thing you do. You do an update and then you see, oh, some of the elements in there were for Arco Linux, 
better check my ETC scale if there are differences and then copy paste them over. So that's how we keep rolling actually. That's the, the way to, to show you all the tweaks and configs and improve, improve, improve. But it's going to be written in ETC scale and you decide if you want to change. But since this is a clean install, copy paste. Now, um, we have here an update done, right? Everything is up to date. You might think so, or you might know that there is also an AUR. So AUR is not Arch Linux, in fact. Uh, AUR is actually, like so, is actually a gathering of applications coming from anywhere coming from Debian, coming from Red Hat, coming from GitHubs, and so on. And these are the elements that we need to update. I just made one for myself here, the Sardi icons and the Surf icons for um, Deconf Editor and also for the music player. So these will be updated and all we have to do is apply again or if you don't like to do all this by Pamac and then, of course, remember we have this shortcut. Oh, yeah. Well, if you don't know it anymore, alias. And then you see what shortcut you should type. It should be this one. All right. So, can't do this right now because there can be only one, be only one installing element. So. But this is another alternative to install and update everything, which I generally do like this. And now show you with PAMIC. Now, there will be some problems with installation. That's good, a thing we can learn from, from errors like these. So um, let's qu quit this guy and say, okay, let's do it this way because we see more, have more information if we do it like this. So let's scroll up. This will not give any issues, nor this one, but I believe this one gave us issues and um, an OMOX, I think. So let's have a look at why and what's going on. So updating your system, sometimes you see these messages, oh, it breaks, I can't update it. It's possible that um, information from the AUR, remember, it's an Arch user repository. It's a person, a people, somebody made it. And it's this package built that's been uh, created on the AUR might be faulty, might be, might be hundreds of reasons why it's not working anymore. But we might be able to fix it. Most of the time we can. Or most of the time we say, well, just a little bit lazy and let's just wait till this maintainer fixes it. And mostly in a matter of three to five days, everything is then fixed. The only thing you should do if you have elements, if you have things like that, is go to the AOR. We'll maybe do that together later on. Go to the AOR and say, hey, flag out of date. So the maintainer knows it's not working anymore because we don't check our PK, PKJ, PKG builds, whew, package builds on the AUR regularly, daily. So you give, give him mail when flagging out of date. I'm gonna pause the video a little bit uh, to spare some time. So it's going to update. I really like the wallpaper, not a into these kind of sailboats, but I really like the build paper, that's for sure. So, pausing. Quickly coming back to show you guys, hey, look, RPM, Red Hat Package Manager. Yes, we're getting information from Red Hat. This Vivaldi is coming from there, just to show. Okay, let's do one again and see what missed. So these are the two guys that are, are not functioning. So uh, it says here information about validity check, about uh, the source, the 256 sum there, that's failed. And the other one, what is he telling about? He's telling about validity check as well. These guys were failed. 
So that's for another tutorial, how to fix those. But we're up to date, except these two, two guys, we are up to date, as you can see here. That's it. Now, um, there is one thing I would like to share with you before I forget it. Uh, we really should do this as a first thing, really the first, the very first thing. If you install Arco Linux, otherwise you'll forget and say, ah, oh, what a slow computer is this? And it's your own fault. Why? It's still up on here. Use all your cores during build or installation of packages. Or it's inside software update or post installation, general and fixes. I've met a lot of categories where you can find this information. And this is what we need to do. We need to run a script and then it says, hey, use everything we have in our power. Meaning if you have eight cores, you'll use eight cores. If you have four cores, you'll use four cores. Now I have been using one core of my eight. So the installation goes slower. How do we get this? Look at the, at the pathway, config, open box scripts. Okay, let's have a look. Is it possible to go through to, 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 to the file manager? It's not there, is it? No. Thunar. Let's see. Thunar is in and I'm keeping him in because it's an important button. Always need to go to there. And then, so he's telling me there is something in the .config, in the open box, open box, scripts. Oh yeah, use all cores, make package configuration. Right mouse click, open terminal. Go for it. You have eight cores. Changing the make flex for eight cores. Please do. And that's it. That's it, you never need it again. So, but it's if you forget to install this, you will um, get a slower computer when you update everything. Well, just like I did now. All right, um, I guess next video will be fixing these last two guys and then you can enjoy your system fully. All right, cheers.